Hello everyone, this is Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to show you how to change the URL that sits behind the header CTA button on My Listing websites. As you can see here on my screen up in the top right hand corner, we have the Add Listing button. And this is the button that appears on, on most My Listing websites by default unless they've done some sort of um, customization like a custom header with Elementor Pro for example. You know, and that button is set here in the in your WordPress dashboard under theme tools, theme option, theme options header, and that is this call to action links to page right here. So we've got that specified as add listing. And then as you see here, the name of the button, add listing. So that's what you see up here in the top right hand corner. If we click on that. As the configuration shows in theme options, we are linking to the add listing page. So as you can see here, that's the page we're using here. Um, we see the, the three flip-flop boxes here for the three different listing types we have set up. So what if, what if we didn't want our users or our customers to see listing type three as part of this process for whatever reason? Um, that's the, the main purpose of the video today is to show you how to get around that. Um, there are other uses for changing the URL of that button. Um, this is just one that came to mind based on a client request. So I'm going to walk through how to, how to bypass this page using a new page. And uh, here we go. So. I've created, gone ahead and created this choose listing type page and I've dropped in with Elementor Pro a couple of CTAs that link to the add listing pages for these particular listing types. So this is the page that we want to send people to when we click the add listing button and not see these flip boxes. Okay. So to do that, we need to pull up our FTP application. You can do this with plugins like uh, File Manager and whatnot, but I highly recommend using an FTP application like FileZilla because if something goes wrong and you uh, break your website, then you know if as long as you have that FTP access, you can always fix things and, and uh, have access to your site. So here I've already connected to the My Listing Sandbox with FileZilla. On the right hand side here, we're just going to browse to the My Listing theme. And the file we are looking for is located in the partials directory, header, and this call to action a PHP file. So we want to take that file and we want to drag this down to our desktop. Okay. Now that that's there, should be in our downloads folder, which it is. Go ahead and delete this. So now we want to edit this file with our preferred text editor. Uh, I use Visual Studio Code for all of my editing. It's, it's a free, amazing application. So go ahead and open that. Uh, minimize, minimize, minimize. Okay, back to this screen. We just want to take this URL, copy it. Jump back over to our code editor and simply replace everything between the quotation marks with the URL that you copied. And save that file. Okay, so that file is now saved on our desktop. We now want to copy this directory path. So everything after my listing, partials dash header. So just copy that. We're going to browse back through our themes. Now I want to go to the my listing child theme. And um, there's a guide in the my listing club for how to set up the, the child theme. I highly recommend doing that day one. You launch your website. There's no downside to having that, even if you don't do code customizations yet. Let's go ahead and put that in place. So we, now we want to browse the child theme. Let's see, we have no folders here. So we just want to recreate that folder structure. 
And we do that by right clicking, create directory, and just paste in that directory structure that we copied. And hit OK. So now we have that same path, partials, header. But we see that our file is not there. So what we want to do is over here on our left hand side of FileZilla, we want to take that file that we edited and just drag it over. Okay? So that's pretty much it as far as the, the code goes. Um, by putting it in the child theme, this prevents your code from being overwritten when the theme is updated in the future. So that's a great thing. Let's go ahead and minimize FileZilla. Let's jump back to this page. Let's go actually go to our home page here. Refresh just in case. So now if we click this add listing button, it should take us here to this page. There you go. So now you've bypassed the listing type three. It's not shown to the user, so that's cool. Um, and then you click on any of these listing types and it takes you right down, you know, to that particular user flow. Listing type two. Okay, that's pretty much it. So um, I hope you find this useful. And if, as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to jump in our Facebook group or uh, if it's club related, ping me on the club's website chat feature. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.